Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. For my first task, I'll be demonstrating how to use the Rehearse and Timings feature in PowerPoint. This feature allows you to go through your presentation and it records how long you're spending on each slide. Please note, recording your presentation along with your voice as a rehearsal is a different task. This task is only using the rehearse and timings feature that allows you to record how long you're spending on each slide. So let's get started. This task could be useful if you are doing a presentation that has a really finite amount of time or um, you are at a presentation style where you're doing it all day, you could have it set in a loop so that people can observe your presentation, you know, while you talk to them at a booth, etc. Or you just want to practice and get a good estimate of how long you're spending on each slide. And you can also turn it off once you've made the timing recordings, so don't fear. The time rehearse and timings feature is found in the slideshow tab. So to get there, I'll press Alt, then S, then T for timings. That's Alt, then S is in Sam, and then T. Upper ribbon, S, lower T. Leaving menus. Slide 1, welcome to our training. Heading level 1, welcome to our training. Heading level 2, using Zoom conferencing with JAWS. Picture 2 image, picture 6 image, S. So this is a presentation that I have chosen to use and you heard JAWS speak all of the content on slide one. PowerPoint is in presentation mode right now, which it automatically switched to once I started the rehearse and timings feature. When I'm ready to move to the next slide, what I'll need to do is press insert Z Zulu. Off. You'll hear that cursor switch off and then press right arrow. Slide two Q&A at the end and chat. After the first slide, you won't hear the full contents, but you will hear the slide title, so you know which slide you're on. And when you're done timing how long you've spent here, you can press right arrow once again. Slide three. This slide doesn't have any content, it's currently blank. And I can go through the entire presentation this way. Depending on which slide you're on, you may spend more or less time there but you can get an idea of the balance you're spending on each slide throughout your presentation. When I'm done going through my rehearse and timings, I will press Alt F4. Alt F4, leaving ribbons, Microsoft PowerPoint dialog. The total time for your slideshow was zero hours, one minute and 55 seconds. Do you want to save the new slide timings? Yes button, Alt plus Y. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press enter here. Enter using Zoom conferencing with JAWS.PPTX PowerPoint. Now I'm back in my slide view, normal view, where I would normally edit my slide. I do have timings recorded. You heard the total length of my presentation was really short, only one minutes and 55 seconds because I only went through three slides. Before I test my timings, let's make sure the checkbox is checked so that we're sure that they will actually implement. Upper ribbon, ribbon, S, lower ribbon, Alt followed by S, B. So I'm in the slideshow tab. Here I'll just tab. Slideshow, from cur menu, custom, sli rehearse, setup, hide slide button, not rehearse timings, record slideshow, keep slides updated, play narrations checkbox check, use timings checkbox checked, Alt followed by S, U. So you heard right there, Alt S U can toggle this switch off and on for you, but I know that when I do that, I don't get speech feedback. So play narrate, use timings checkbox checked, space, leaving menus. Welcome to our trip. I just unchecked it. So to check it back, I'll do Alt Upper ribbon, S, S lower U, U, leaving menus. Welcome to our training slide. Welcome to our training slide. I'm back in my presentation. Now I'll press F5 to go into presentation mode and review my timings. F5, PowerPoint slideshow using Zoom conferencing with JAWS.PPTX. Slide 1, welcome to our training. Slide 2, Q&A at the end and chat. All right, and that is slide 2. 
we spent quite a long time on slide one, so we may have jumped a little time in reality, but our timings are working and Jaws will speak every time the slide changes. Slide three. And here we are back on slide three. The slide I mentioned was blank. I'll press escape. Escape using Zoom conferencing with JAWS.PPTX PowerPoint. Slide three, slide three. And that is how you use PowerPoint rehearse and timings feature to estimate how long you're spending on each slide during your presentation. For this next task, I will be showing you how to add alt text to an image on a PowerPoint slide. But before I get there, let's talk for just a moment about when and where this is useful to people who are blind and visually impaired. This alt text will be audible to those who are using a screen reader when they are viewing the presentation in presentation mode on their own computer or via the Teams virtual interface, although the presenter within Teams has to have their settings set correctly for a screen reader user to view what's on each slide and read through it virtually. My focus is in the slide area and I'm going to tab until I find the picture I want to add alt text to. Picture. And there it is. Since focus is on my picture, I'll press the applications key or shift F10 to open my contextual menu. Shift F10, menu, cut, T. And I'll press A for alt text. A, leaving menus. Topics for today slide, four of 15, picture, edit. Using Zoom conferencing with JAWS, generate a description for me button. Description edit. Mark as decorative checkbox not checked. Generate a description for me button. Description edit. So I'm just tabbing through this dialogue. There's several different options I have. I can mark this as decorative, but that actually keeps me from adding a description. Generate a description for me button. I can also use this feature, although no telling whether or not it will be accurate. So let's tab to the edit field. Mark as decorative, description edit. And I know that this picture is actually the Zoom conferencing logo. So that's what I'm going to put in this edit field. Z O M space C O N F E R E N C I N G space L O G O. Normally here, I would go to the new line with shift enter. Shift enter. And I would add something like taken from or resourced from and add a link just so we can make sure and reference where we got that image. In this case, it's an older image and I'm just going to carry on. Mark as decorative, yes, I'll help, button. Once my description's added, I just need to press escape. Escape, topics for today's slide, four of 15, picture, Zoom conferencing logo, object level, topics for today's slide, four of 15, picture, Zoom conferencing logo. And you hear that my focus is back in the slide area on the image that I just added alt text to. And as I tab around, Title placeholder. Object place. Picture. Zoom conferencing logo. It's announced every time focus is put on it. That is how you add alt text to an image in a PowerPoint presentation. For this next task, I'd like to explain a little bit about how you would enter slide master view and why you might need to. There are several different views in PowerPoint, and they all have different beneficial features. To go into slide master view, you go into the view tab with Alt W and then press the letter M. So it's Alt W M as in master. I'll do that now. Upper ribbon W, low M, leaving menus, title slide slide, no selection, to select an object, Press tab, no selection, using Zoom conferencing with JAWS.PPTX PowerPoint. All right. So I know visually the screen has changed somewhat in the layout of normal view, which you may use to edit your PowerPoint, has changed now to something more like slide sorter view. You can see one of our other task videos if you want more information on that. The reason you might want to use slide master view is to make sure that changes applied are applied consistently throughout your presentation. So for example, if you're wanting to make sure 
your font and your presentation is consistent or your background color and themes are consistent throughout your presentation, you want to make sure you make those changes in slide master view, not just with focus on one slide. This has just been a little bit more about slide master view and how to get there and why it might be beneficial. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.